Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Austria, where, guys, we are invading and invading and invading. And I basically put down my counter measurements against the Netherlands forces, where I basically told them that you guys are going to give me what I want, otherwise I'm going to kill you. Okay? Okay. And they basically really have no option other than except because I'm more powerful than them by a long shot. I mean, not just more powerful, I could easily destroy them in almost any sense of the word. And really, I'm just being nice. Okay, and I'm also getting money from the Suez Canal, which is awesome. But, that's on a different story. So, oh my goodness. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Portugal is invading. Oh, that's hilarious. I, I would expect them to have some kind of army over here, but they don't. Oh, gosh. Yeah, you guys, you guys really should give up. I'm really just going to, to destroy you. And anything you guys have got, I better go re Yeah, sometimes the one problem with having multiple colonies spread out around here is that they do kind of link up and then they do kind of like, ooh, expand, expand the forts. Yes, you always must, keep, you must keep expanding forts. That's what kind of my general rule is, is that all my colonies will be heavily armored stuff. So even the ones that... You know, even the ones that Europeans are going to be like, Well, this is going to be easy to march them. We'll be like, Nope. It's going to be a major difficulty. And apparently it's time to upgrade all my forts again. Apparently I forgot a couple. I don't know how I did that. Yeah, like right about here. I don't know, I don't know how I forgot some forts. I literally, that's like, that's like literally my job is just to upgrade. There are probably some over here that I forgot. No, it seems like, no, I basically upgraded everything. Wow. My land is literally a tough place to go to. We have tough... Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. shoot. Okay, but I do know there's some problems already developing through some of my other uh, people. Gonna go send this army back here to go control the Balkans. Gonna go have you guys go back here. Apparently, they actually had enough of their forces to mount a defense. But it won't last. Trust me. Just give me a second. I'll be able to destroy all their men. Yeah, they're trying... Oh, oh, just, we do it again. If, if they die, we do it again. We don't stop. And then this should become kind of a slaughter in epic proportions. I mean, really, they should not win there. Ah, oh, man. So many things, man. You know what I mean? Just so many things. So, now that I got all of their land that conquered down here, unconquered, they also almost own all this colony, which I really just don't care. <laughs> I really wish I could say I do, but I really just don't because they're really just used as more of money making machines like sorry <laughs> I mean really that's really what they're used for and I really have no other words for it um but yeah we're fighting the we're fighting the Netherlands because we want our land back we want everything that has been taken away from us hey 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 hey, hey. you guys about ready to give up like can I just like Cancel the liberate. Oh, I could. Oh, I could still do that. But actually, I want to make sure we get all this in this one go. Because I want Brazil back. Brazil was mine. And you know that. Okay, you know Brazil's mine. Okay, let's see. Can I get any more of these things? No, I can't. Alright. Well, then, let's see. What else do we absolutely need? Electricity! Yes, my people need electricity. Okay. But, on a serious note... We're gonna soon win this very quickly. I mean, it's it's really it's really just a matter of time before I just go in and go conquer everything. I mean, really, I, as you guys can see, I'm just halfway paying attention to how to how the conquest thing is all going. I mean, really, really, they're they're beaten already. It's just how long will they take until they finally realize, hey, we can't actually fight these guys. Uh, probably for a little bit. We also got a little bit of control over Argentina. Yes, I'm gonna have all of s ah yes. They're finally in my sphere too, that's also good. So once I get Argentina underneath my- Once I get Brazil underneath my control, I basically have all of South America underneath my control. Uh, you're just getting consciousness. I don't like militancy. Militancy is pretty bad. <laughs> uh, prestige is always good though. So, let's see, we crush their armies. None of my other Balkan allies are having difficulties. Uh, we are having some political, factual stuff happening here with the- Ottomans are trying to, you know what, whatever you guys are doing, just stop it. I'm just going to have you guys siege while I just casually go conquer. I mean, they're trying. I, the, the Ottomans are definitely trying. I, I give them credit. 
They're at least trying to protect their land. We should outfit an expedition. They're at least trying to protect their land. And I do admire, I do admire them for trying to. But really, will it work? Probably not. I'm a little bit more skilled in this than they are. A little bit more armored up than they are. Okay, then you guys go right there. Oh my goodness. Now, yeah, look at this. We've already, we've basically made like major, like, killing sprees into all this land. Uh, I, I haven't really used my troops either. But it has this war starting to drag on just a little bit too long. No! Okay, now you guys are starting to add too much on. Okay. Uh, no, no. Okay, I really just want this. They're almost ready to accept this, so probably like one more battle or a little bit more conquesty things, and I'll basically have that. Yeah, I don't, I don't want them to like be cut down the size so majorly that we're gonna have to deal with this forever. Because I'm eventually, my economy is eventually gonna collapse if I keep in this war. I already know that. Thirty percent, fourteen hour workdays. Eh, we could give them fourteen hour workdays. Restore the calm! Use propaganda! Of course, why would we do anything else as Austria but use propaganda? Okay, you guys go right there. And yeah. Oh look, it's an army. So let's see. Let's see. So I just want my wish fulfilled. These things. Okay, you guys give me all this? Good. Then, voila! War over, baby! And I finally got back! <laughs> So now I have Brazil back underneath my control, which means my economy is good. Let me reopen all the factories that closed down. This is me being a little bit kind right now. All right, and now I can enact a reform. So let's see, what reforms really pressing view voters right now? Moralism, no, 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 no. Okay, peoples. Uh, child labor. Oh, we haven't, we haven't illegalized child labor yet? Oh, shoot. Oh, uh, yeah, let's restrict that. <laughs> Completely forgot my country's not that open to new ideas. Okay, and while we're still on the subject, we have to instantly go to war against Persia just so that we can uh, finish them off, as I would say. So then, once we get right there, uh, we go. I'm gonna go send these guys back over here, and then I think we only sent one army down here. Oh yeah, because I had another army right here, but I already had it down there. And then, like, two of these armies, one army's going to go right there, and this army's going to go down right here, because apparently it, like, moved all the way over here, which was weird. I mean, my land is... Ah, oh, man, more upgrading! More upgrading forts! Yay! Okay. Okay, and then we're not surprised, we're not surprised. Everyone joined in this time. Good. And Brazil is now on my side. Yes! This is an awesome day. I'm also going to call you in for no apparent reason, just because I want you to. Yes! Okay. And now we're at war with our good and mighty enemies of, well, them, really. <laughs> and I have all of Ottoman's lands. Basically, yeah, I've basically limited all the Ottoman's lands. And now, Greece should have a massive core on everything of the Ottomans. Well, at least they should in a couple minutes, because now they have all the Aegean islands, and now they have all this. They should start getting cores on all Istanbul and stuff, but... Before that, let me go start sending armies to go conquer our newest colony of Persia. Who, let's see, how strong are they? They're even weaker than the Netherlands. Okay, this should be fun. Tax reform! Yay! I love when tax reforms come! Oh, I love when my country does that. Okay, go send my army right over here. Let's see, so we have Kokand and Kiva. Basically, these guys over here. Not really, not really going to be much of a player in this. And I think what I'll use, I think I'll use my Ethiopian army and my, uh, my Tunisian army to go defeat them. Also, if any of these guys want to come down there and go help, that's also going to be fine, but I highly doubt any of these guys are going to come down there and fight with me. Uh, do we allow food, full citizenship? No, we are completely residency. I, I, I at least, I, I'm a little bit nicer than that. I at least allow some citizenship. So I guess we can slightly migrate to full citizenship. Not very much, though, but we'll slightly migrate to it. And let's see. Let's see. How's our armies looking right now? Um, I think I have to be making sure I keep building new armies and keep building new stuff because that's how our factories work, is that we keep building and we keep upgrading. And look, ooh, more factory buildup. More factory buildup. Secularize. What do we want? We want moralism. So pluralism, we want to go closer to pluralism. Let's keep upgrading all of our... Our forts, 
Do boom, boom, boom. We destroy whatever fleet they had. Not really surprising. All right, protectionism. Uh, we like free trade. Yes, we definitely like free trade. Okay, and let's see my troops. My steamers are over there already. So let's go land them. And this is where I guess I'll make my base of operations for our invasion of Persia. For, oh, conservatives, liberals. You know, anger the rebel, that anger the liberals, because the liberals don't really have much power in my country. Let, let, me, let, me, let me make sure. Yeah, they really don't have much power in my country. So, yeah, we can anger the liberals as much as we want. Okay, laissez fair. we don't really care about, but... Oh, man, I don't, I don't really like either. I don't really like planned economy or laissez fair. And I know it's laissez fair, people, so don't correct me in the chat. And let's go send our troops over there. We're gonna go have some good old times. Gonna go destroy some people. Jindoism! Yay! I want more Jindoism. And, um... Uh... If... I'm pretty sure Greece is gonna say yes. Yeah, I was about to say, Greece is gonna say yes, because we're like... Greece, is, Greece and I are like BFFs, so... I would highly doubt they would say no to me. I mean, literally, we're like BFFs. They would never say no to me. Uh, support the conservatives, because I already know the conservatives are gonna win. Pro-military, of course. A splendid idea, of course. And look at... Oh my goodness. And as soon as I add that little piece of the empire to my land... Oh, it seems like somebody's having a revolt right now. Who's having a revolt? Uh, Bulgaria. Eh, they can handle it. Oh, it, whoa, you guys are clever. You guys are literally going all the way around the world to go fight this war. Oh, and even, I don't know how you guys got your troops there, but awesome. Um, you know, maybe, eh, you know, I actually want to finish this war off quickly. That way we don't have to deal with stuff. I was about to say, maybe I should just let my troops fight it all. But, you know what, let's go finish this war off quickly. That way I can do everything. Hurrah! Good intentions. Electricity! We have electricity! And we finally get our last event. So let's get our last research event, which is anti-rationalism. Oh man, this is so exciting. We finally get our last research event. Oh man, that means that means we're actually approaching the end of the game, which is scary, guys. I mean, that's just scary right there. Approaching the end of the game at such a late turn. Oh my goodness. Well, we might as well look at how about... Oh, oh, planning the World Trade Fair. You know what? If It must be my... No ex... Yeah, seriously, it must be magnificent. There's only one possibility this can go down to. It must be magnificent. Spain's having a little bit of revolts. Eh, they can deal with it. Then they're, they're not they're not little children. They they can definitely deal with that. Uh Divan interventionism. Yeah, we're definitely a secularized country. Yes. Okay. Bloody re reactionaries, let's just say that. Okay. Yeah, let's keep moving on. <laughs> oh gosh, there's the Persian army. Okay, and there's the uh Romanian I guess the Romanians are actually going to go after the Kivians. Or well, is some kind of war going on right now and I'm not really aware of it. Uh, no, I, I actually like that because it actually gives my people a reason to not hate me. That's, seriously, it, right now they don't hate me. Yay! And I can actually do a whistle tour! I love to- OH! WHAT?! New, no, new, no, new. No, no. Oh, from what that I thought I literally released my vassals. I was gonna click on the whist the whistle stop to oh good. Yeah, no 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 no. Romania, you get to stay under my empire forever. That's the whole reason why I have you under my empire, so you don't start causing crises all over my all over my land, which I know you would do because you're that much of a jerk. Okay. Let's see, where are you going? Where is this <laughs> Romania, where are you guys going? Oh, okay, so you guys are going to Kokand, and you guys are basically destroying them out of the war. Okay, let me just see if I can just get these guys out of the war. Hey guys, would you guys want to be out of this war? Because you guys don't really need to be in this war. No, if you guys want to fight this, that's fine with me. I really don't care, because I could easily... I could easily also swipe you guys up in, in this war too, because I'm not really too keen on too many rivals in this game. But the Exodon Flora... Yeah, I like this one. The rich income. You know what? Screw the rich. They haven't done much for me in this game. Like, literally, they've done very little for me. So, screw the rich. The poor have actually helped me out way more. So, 
Right now, we're doing major discoveries. Austria is definitely becoming a very prestigious country. I like- Oh, shoot! Oh, shoot! Oh, shoot! Shoot, 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 Okay, shoot, 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 shoot. I wasn't paying attention, wasn't paying attention, wasn't paying attention. Gosh dang it. I'm gonna have to fight, like, six different, uh, colonists. Mostly dealing with France, so... Hopefully France will have very weak allies, so I can easily fight them. But yeah, we're going to, we're fighting France, and we're basically fighting the rest of the world for this little tiny land and piece of the land over here. Okay, and Kokand wants to probably get out of this war. Yeah, you guys can get out of this war. I don't even know why you guys were in this war, really. Okay, I don't really want you guys in this war, so please get out of this war. You guys, I also want you guys out of this war, because you guys are actually just deterring a lot of the men I want to come and actually invade the real land, Persia. But you guys are actually being sucked into this too. Which is kind of annoying me. Uh, Persia should die, right? Portugal, we aren't going to have difficulties, right? Because Persia should die. I, I really should not have to do much in this war. Like, literally very minimal. Very minimal micro. Like, a severely little minimal micro. Let's see. Can I just, like, how much do I have to actually get for you guys to surrender? Oh, you guys are almost ready to surrender. Okay. Just keep invading. Then, I mean, uh, look how many men. Uh, the USA is helping out, too. Yay! USA! 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 <laughs> oh, that makes me strangely very happy. So, yeah, we're just, we're just going to conquer Persia. Oh, man. I like this. I seriously like this. I, I seriously like this new system of how you can conquer a basically anyone. Okay. Alright. So Sundend. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be fighting like a tons of different states. This one might be the only one we might actually have a chance over because they don't actually seem to be paying attention. Yeah, they will wanna fight in every single one of these areas unless Um we can also try to get some of these areas, but I really don't I really don't care about these areas. I just want to link up my land or the majority of my land. So yeah. French, you're gonna have to go. Okay, especially since my land's about to get another big addition to it. I really don't need you in my land. Okay. I really don't. Man, we're so de but man, my people are so conservative. Uh, well, no, it, it actually is starting to switch. Most of my people are starting to become more, much more open to new ideas and new stuff, and that's kind of aggravating, but I, I guess there's not really much I can do. You know, the change of times is going to bring up, it's going to bring up new peoples and new ideas, and, you know, just sometimes you just have to accept that. Stockpile food, yeah. Wait, 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 whoops, I think that was the event that's, oh, I think I was just a jerk to my civilians for no apparent reason besides I just wanted to oh gosh such a terrible dict such a terrible dictator I actually have remorse for my people's suffering so let's see what you guys want oh I can finally make this illegal let's see what you guys want more you know what actually I want public education because I want my people to actually learn what they're doing okay if they could actually learn what they're doing it make my life so much easier also harder because then they realize how socially unequitable the country is but easier at the same time. Lavish Festival, of course. And let's see. You guys about... Oh. Ooh. It seems like I'm starting to lose a lot of these. Yeah. It... Ah, oh, dang it. Okay. Withdraw. Withdraw. I'm, I'm just going to have to admit defeat. Seems like... Seems like France got... France got me with my pants down, basically. If I must... If we're going to be real here, France got me with my pants down, but I'm going to not give up on the UK. The UK is going to be... I'm basically going to try to link up all this colony, and what I might try to do is, uh, later I might actually try to go steal South Sudan, or French Sudan from France eventually. But first, I have to make sure I gain all of this. So, let's just, like, make sure we have all this. Hopefully, France won't try to get in on this. I know Britain's gonna fight me. Oh, can defend against gas attacks. Yes. Okay. So I basically took away all advantage that other Europeans might have against me. Let's see. You guys are about ready to give up. No, I still don't have enough causes. I still don't have enough time. All right. Go destroy. Keep fighting. Keep destroying. Oh uh, yeah. This is gonna. 
this war I knew it would take a little bit because they do have a decent amount of population and I knew these guys would be trouble. But as soon as we're done with this, this should be a really quick war. Chad. Chad's ready to be... Oh! France, you jerks! No, no, no. Ah. Well, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.